he is sight unseen for many of the fans here at the Blazedale. He's a guy that those in the industry are anxious to see in action. Here we go. 3-3. guys sizing each other up, eyeing each other down. Westworld coming with the kick again, leading with a lot of kicks here. Good counter by Lau. Now Westworld cornering him and trying to put the locks into him, but not before Lau is able to get his lock underneath the chin of the score. Uh, going after the guillotine when you couldn't get that underhook. And Charles was trying to circle back, but unfortunately a good job of keeping him in that corner, but he definitely needs to get the head out. He needs some knees here. Oh, his legs very active. Coming down with the elbow was Lau, and now they're just going to exchange some blows. Lau with the devastating knee, as you said, Mike. This Forge throwing some haymakers. And now they're talking a little trash <laughs> in the middle of the ring, getting a rise out of this crowd. Two rams on a mountaintop, just ramming into each other. Well, looks like he's keeping his cool, telling him those leg kicks are not doing anything, but. Oh, here comes the mouthpiece. Mouthpiece going flying. Lau zeroing in to one knee, goes to score. Lau pushes him onto his back. Lau coming down with the thunder. Full mount for Alan Lau. This Ford's squirming. Lau what keeping him trapped. In there. One minute. Bouncing his head off the canvas with those punches. Lau measuring it up. Nice switch to the body punches there. How long will this continue? Under 50 seconds left in round one. Lau waiting, biding his time to bring down as hard a blow as possible. This Forge continues to fight, not giving up. I was doing a good job at picking his punches and making every punch count. I just had a swing. Another one landed there, as you saw just moments ago. 30 seconds left in this first round. Nice shrimp by the Ford, but he's not really making anything out of it. There comes the armbar. Can he get it? This Locks Ford, it out. trying to slip, is able to slip. He walks right into a triangle. Forge a good job of keeping that head up. Now this Forge with the top position. Now he wants to try to bring down some punishment. And there's the horn to end a very entertaining first round. Great comeback by DeForge there. And some blood from the nose of Alan Lau. And that was definitely from an earlier punch in the round. A little, Lau looked real, real relaxed, but he did catch one early. Some good action, but Lau definitely the guy you would say won that first round. Definitely, the duration domination, definitely in Lau's favorite there. Here's that mount position, landing some big blows, picking his shots. Good job with the force, shrimping out of that and escaping. We kind of just sat there. Here he goes to the arm bar. Looks like this is the end right here. Forge does a good job of kind of slipping his elbow out, turning his arm. Comes right into the top, almost walks into a triangle. We did a good job of keeping that head up and punching him right through. Here's that arm bar again. Good opportunity for Lau to finish it all right here, but didn't control those wrists. And when you don't control those wrists, he can turn his hand over, allows the elbow to bend. That was his key to escaping. Referee Haru Shiminishi actually talking to Lau between rounds. Were you able to pick up what he was telling him? I, I, didn't, I didn't hear it either, but I know he definitely threatened um, the disqualification or, or point taken away. I'm not sure if it was from that elbows or, or what. One to the back of the head, possibly. Could be. Round two, actually, that first round was fun to watch. Now Lau with his hands down almost as if to say, come on. Come on, Richard. This board's good left, oh, follows it up with the right. Lau leaving on the ropes. Good play shot by the board as well. Snap throughout the place.
pushing now off of it. Catching his breath, coming in with another combo, a good left. The pendulum of momentum has definitely swung the way of the way, my boy. And he continues to swing. Now bleeding more and more profusely from that nose. He's taking his shots like a champ, though, but good job by switching up his punches by the forge. You can see discoloration of the leg of um, Lao off those leg kicks. And Lao looking exhausted. This forge also looking exhausted, but still a little more active. <laughs> Lao trying to come up with the knee. Got it that second time. The third one was blocked away. Just missed on that one, too. That might be his key to success if he keeps on going after those knees. These fighters, <laughs> fighters almost falling to the canvas out of sheer exhaustion. This is a war, Mike. Lau's taking some shots, but it keeps him walking right into him. Lau going for a half-hearted shoot. See if he can finish here. And Ford just sitting on the ropes. It's actually a good job, kind of a good strategy. Makes it more difficult to finish. <laughs> Doing what he can to get a rest. Lau brings that right uppercut with the sport sitting between the ropes. Pays him for a rest and during the fight right here. And now they're each catching their breath. Much to the chagrin of the crowd. Oh. This forge with a big left. That leans Lau to the ground. Lau goes. This forge thinking finish. Can he finish? Good defense by Lau. So far, none of those hits yet. Lau lets him take the full mount position. This forge ends it. It is over. A titanic fight. An epic battle.